Now we'll walk through a short example of how scenarios can easily be created and used before making a budget adjustment to help provide a clear line of sight to the financial impact of business decisions. So in our example here, we're looking at our P&L report and we have our sales revenue by location for two different products sets. So our standard products and our premium products. So we're considering making a change to our list price to the various products and we want to see what the financial impact is before we actually commit those changes. So to do that, we're going to create a new scenario in the inputs area. And you can see we have our standard and our premium products and the revenue has been calculated by a particular model. So let's go to that model to be able to make various changes to the, the average selling price. So you can see in our standard products, we have a couple fixed assumptions that we're using. So for each of our different items, we have our um, standard selling price. Uh, and down here at the bottom, we have our units that are calculating out our sales revenue for each of those units. So what we're gonna do is, before committing to those list price changes, we wanna model those out using a new scenario. So we can go ahead and create a, new, a brand new scenario called list price changes change. We're going to create that. Now we can see in the blue box here, we have created that scenario and now we're making changes to that scenario. So let's go ahead and change our list price to $700 for item one and $900 for item two. So we'll be able to save those changes, which will then, based upon the units, recalculate our sales for our standard products. Now we wanna make similar changes to our premium products as well. So we'll go up that to $2,000 and up this to $2,500 for our list price. Go ahead and save that. And as you can see, as I'm making changes to my scenario, that, bl that black text will change to blue, indicating that there's been changes to this particular scenario. So now that I've made those changes, I wanna immediately see what the impact is on our P&L. So if I go back to our sheets and our P&L, we can see that we're looking at our scenario, our list price change scenario, and we can see our sales revenue for our standard and our premium products reflected in the P&L. Now you may say, well, what's the actual variance uh, between our base budget and our, our scenario budget? And we can look at that by simply changing a drop-down menu, our list price change versus our working budget. And when I do that, it's going to provide for each month our scenario that we just created, as well as our working budget and the difference between the two. So I can see by month what that change to our list price will do to our revenue, our cost of sales, and all the way down to our net profit. And it will show us a change by month and our total change over here on the right hand side. So I can see immediately our change in sales revenue is $1.1 million. It's going to affect our cost of sales by increasing it by $710,000, but give us an increase in net profit of $471,000. So we're thinking, yep, that looks great. We wanna be able to commit those changes back to our working budget. So what we can do is come back to our scenario and merge with our budget. And when that, what that will do is merge those changes with our working budget, but in addition, it will actually create a snapshot of that version before the merge. So I'll go ahead and merge, and we'll be able to see in our history tab, that snapshot it automatically takes before the merge. So we're able to save that snapshot as a version, let's say, if we wanna keep um, a copy of that version before those changes are made. We're able to do that and maybe add a comment to say, 
before list price changes. Now we'll have that, that version to be saved. And now we come back to our base budget scenario. And we can see that uh, those changes have been committed that we made within the scenario. And now our scenario is gone because we've merged, merged those changes. So it's a really powerful way of being able to immediately see impact from a financial point of view before making changes to the budget.